Hey guys, welcome back to Mountain Dog Companion. Thanks for tuning in again. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Jamaica and Icon's litter of pure AKC Bernice Mountain Dog puppies. Um, everyone seems to be doing very well. We got four girls here that we're gonna be starting off here uh, with. Everyone's doing great. They got that uh, beautiful European style um, stockiness and head and just a really lo neat look to each one. So uh, these are the three girls. One's actually just chilling out, uh, chilling out underneath the table back there, but uh, just hanging out, so taking it easy. But uh, the other three girls out, are out here, sorry if I can talk right, um, are out here just hanging out with me, um, or were hanging out with me. So, um, but we're just gonna start off here um, with Sweet Pea. She's here, one of the one of the smaller girls of the bunch, but has that really nice conformation, just really nice blocky look, nice round head, nice white socks front and back. And one thing I'll, I'll mention um, at birth here with her, um, she did have one toe missing, so, but everything seems to be great. She's, everything healed perfectly fine, and the vet's not really concerned about it, so um, that's one thing I'll point out with her. She does have a small white strip in between her eyes and those beautiful eyebrows popping as well, but a wonderful girl. She's pretty chill, um, just hanging out a little bit more on the laid back side, so super sweet girly. Um, so again, that's Sweet Pea, and you can kind of see her interacting here. Um, excuse my sock feet. <laughs> um, but uh, next up here is Atlanta. Um, Atlanta here, super nice girly. She's more on the outgoing side of things, a little bit more on the bigger side as well. Those beautiful white socks front and back, and the white strip in between her eyes. I think she'll grow into that white perfectly. So um, just a really nice girly, got that beautiful conformation. She's gonna be a big girl. Her feet are pretty huge. You can see her toe beans there. Just a sweet girly. Uh, very nice litter so far. They've been coming along very well and just doing great. So, um, so that's Atlanta right here. Uh, sweet girly. And I'm gonna try and find the other two girlies here real quick. <laughs> Okay guys, so next up here is Jasmine, the one I'm holding, not the one that wants all the attention, Atlanta here. Uh, what's up, girly? Yeah, so uh, Jasmine here, beautiful girl. I'd say probably the biggest girl in the bunch. Uh, more of that blocky look. She is an absolute junky, uh, junky little girl. So um, beautiful look there. You got the nice white socks front and back. A nice white strip in between her eyes and that, that beautiful uh, tan showing through as well on the legs and the eyebrows and the side of the jaw. So a really nice look. A white tip tail there for her as well. Um, and just a really neat look. Hey, you might not want to pull on those flowers, girly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, again, um, this here is Jasmine. Beautiful girly. You got Atlanta coming back. Like I said, she's more of the outgoing sort. Um, but absolutely sweet. You can see she wants to hang out um, on my lap. And Jasmine here, she's more on the on the laid back side or a little bit more, more so. You might be hearing her chewing on my mic. Um, but a very neat girly and just more on the laid back side, just hanging out, very sweet. And then um, back. Okay guys, last but not least here is Pearl. Um, Pearl is more on the independent side, but absolutely sweet. Has some beautiful white coming through front and back. A nice white tip tail as well. You got those, uh, that nice white blaze and the beautiful tan as well on her face. Uh, beautiful girl. One thing I will mention, if you're seeing the colors here on Instagram as far as the collars are concerned, hers is purple. Um, I know, um, is it Atlanta's? She's orange, I believe, or pink. Um, yeah, it's pink. I might be a little bit colorblind. Um, but yeah, each one of these girls are doing great. Um, I did point out that um, one toe missing girly. Uh, she's absolutely sweet and doing very well. Um, it doesn't seem to be hindering the way she moves around, the way she um, interacts, and she just seems to be very good um, as far as that's concerned. And, and again, uh, these are just the girls, so we'll move on to the boys now. Okay guys, back to the boys here. Um, we got five boys in this litter, so uh, four girls, five boys, total of nine here. 
Um, everyone seems to be doing great here again. Um, we do have one hernia in this sweater. Other than that, everything seems to be great. So uh, I'm just gonna be talking about each one. I'm covered in puppies right now. Um, it is raining a little bit outside, so uh, you might see a little bit of a damp uh, coat there, but they seem to be doing great. I'm just gonna get my paper here, uh, just so I'm not mixing anyone up. And there we go. Okay, so we got Archie first here on my left over here. Um, got that beautiful white stripe in between his eyes. See if I have a spot on my lap here for him. There we go. Okay, so you got white paws front and back. Really stocky look. He's probably got the most fluffy coat um, out of everyone. Just a really nice look. Nice white stripe, nice white socks front and back. And you got the beautiful white tip tail as well. Um, he does have the gray collar, so if you're seeing it on Instagram, this is Archie. Beautiful guy, really nice round head, very blocky look there for you. So just to give you a really nice look. He's pretty chilled out, pretty laid back. Um, so that is Archie. Okay, so next up here, I'm gonna be talking about this guy in my lap. And I believe this is Elvis. He's probably the biggest boy or one of the bigger boys of the bunch. He got nice white socks front and back. Never mind, this isn't Elvis. This can't be Elvis. This is Oscar. Oscar. Okay, so Oscar, one of the bigger boys in the bunch. Sorry about that. Um, beautiful round blocky head. Uh, nice white stripe in between his eyes. Beautiful socks front and back. And he does have the white tip tail. Um, here in the back. He's almost too much to carry around with one hand. Beautiful guy, super interactive, very sweet guy. He just wants to hang out. Uh, very beautiful look there. So um, again, we got Oscar here. Okay guys, next up here is Pippin. He's got the yellow collar. Um, what's up Oscar? He just wants to hang out too. He wants all the attention. Uh, let me shuffle around a little bit here. So Pippin here. He's got a, probably some more white than most of the pups in this litter, which I feel makes him pretty unique. Um, I feel like they normally grow into their white as they get older, so um, that'll have a really nice combination for him. Beautiful fur, just absolutely nice round blocky head. Nice white socks front and back, and those white socks up front on the left hand side kind of extend up uh, towards his knee area, which I feel is very neat. He does have the nice tuxedo look as well up front in the nice white tip tail. Um, he is more on the independent side, still super, super sweet, but more independent, a little bit more self. He just likes to kind of do his own thing, and uh, which I feel is pretty neat. So um, very sweet guy here. Again, that's Pippin. Okay guys, two boys remaining here to talk about. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about before we get to these two boys here on my lap, um, I kind of wanted to talk about the white or the pink markings on the nose. So most times they do end up um, kind of fading out around between 9 and 12 weeks. Um, and normally they turn completely black. Um, it very seldomly sticks around. So most times by 10 to 12 weeks, um, you'll see that completely disappear. Um, you can see um, here on my left, um, JJ's got a little bit more of the pink on his nose. So I just wanted to mention that a little bit um, in case you were curious. Hopefully this helped you out. Um, but yeah, we'll move on talking about JJ here. He's got the orange collar. Um, so we'll talk about him first. I'm gonna let you run a little bit. There you go. Uh, so JJ here, um, he's got nice white socks front and back. A little bit more on his right paw um, compared to the left. Nice tan coming down both sides. Um, or both front and back, and then that beautiful white tip tail as well. He's got the white stripe in between his eyes, and again, that nose that I mentioned that's kind of pink and black, it'll turn completely black here in the next couple weeks. So these guys are right at eight weeks old and are absolutely humongous and just growing like weeds. So uh, doing very well, though. Everyone seems to be doing very well. Um, next up there with Krista is Elvis. Um, Elvis is the biggest boy in the bunch. He's super, super blocky, bulky. He does have that nice white um, on the tip of his tail. Nice white socks front and back. Come here, buddy. Let me show you off. Come here. 
Yeah, there we go. Come here, bud. He's huge. He's got to weigh around 20 pounds. Um, but yeah, nice white socks front and back. A nice white stripe in between his eyes as well. Just a really blocky look there for him. Uh, super nice size. Got the white tip tail like I mentioned. And that really nice tan coming through as well. So again, that's Elvis. I'd say the biggest boy in the bunch. Hey guys, you don't want to chew on that. You don't want to chew on that. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so yeah, again, this is Jamaica and Icon's litter. This is actually actually the first litter from Icon that we've had. Uh, we've had them around for a while now, but we just haven't had puppies from them until now. So um, these guys are doing very well. Came back great. Got one of you guys chewing on a leaf. Good there, bud. Um, but yeah, everyone seems to be doing very well and coming along great and uh, just seem to be uh, super healthy and happy guys and girls. So if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to reach out to me. My number is 330-234-0102. My name is Jay Miller, of course, here with Mountain Dog Companion. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to subscribe. Yeah, sorry, I can't talk. Um, Feel free to subscribe down below. Give us a like. We're trying to uh, reach 1,500 subscribers this month. So um, if you're interested in learning more about Bernice Mountain Dog puppies, seeing upcoming litters, or maybe just um, want to see cute puppies every day, join here. Um, we can always help you out with that. So again, guys, thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you next time and take care.